Yo, everybody, welcome back to another Super Mario Sunshine Eclipse episode. I'm Trevor F. And today, we're gonna go back and do some more Bianco Hills. I want to see if some of these secret shines have any uh, hidden things to them. I'm curious. So, this week I leave for my trip. And I plan to record as much videos as I can. So I can have them scheduled for y'all for when I'm gone. And I know I missed some blue coins here. I don't know if he gives you one. He does not. What a rude man. How many... S I have... I I'm missing six. But it's okay. We'll find them as we keep going. I don't want to make this episode all about blue coins because nobody likes to search for blue coins that much. I still think that path is so cool. You know, I really think Nintendo needs to work with some of these ROM hack users because, you know, ROM hack users, they have really good ideas. And I really think they should take them into consideration. I'm just saying. It wouldn't be the worst idea. Like, I think Nintendo would do so much better working with ROM hackers. But Nintendo's, like, so stingy. They're, like, the kind of people that it's my way or the no way method. I like Nintendo. You can't be like that. Woo! Oh my god, this red coin mission? Ew, it takes me back. And when I say takes me back, I mean it takes me back to Versus. If you guys haven't seen the Versus yet on the Versus Frontier, you should go check it out. It was a fun Versus. The Versus Frontier link is always in the description below, so you guys can go check out some awesome Versus on the channel. I want to try to get more verses on there, but trying to find people to actually do verses with is actually pretty difficult. Some people were like, oh, just go find people, make content. I'm sure it's super easy. No, okay, it's not easy. <laughs> you know how many people say no? Because they're like, oh, I don't like to race for video games. I like to have fun and play it casually. In reality, that's what versus technically is. Like, versus is all about having fun. And playing the game casually, but you're also like trying to be strategic while doing it too, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm determined to find Shadow Mario. Secret of the Dirty Lake. Let's go. I can't exactly remember how many secret shines are in each of the levels. But I think most of them. Actually, I don't know. I think they're all different. If I'm remembering right. This poor guy. How do these people get covered in the scoop, but they don't, like, sink? I know there's not a puddle. I get that. But, wouldn't that make sense, though? Because it's a good potentially, but <coughs> what's to make them sink, right? <laughs> I don't know how logic works. Alright, we're gonna go over here. The Secret of the Dirty Lake one is pretty fun. It's just those blocks that are super annoying. I almost fell on that. Also, I would not recommend the uh, Turbo Nozzle for this one for Abra Coins. That is something I would not recommend. If anyone tells you that they recommend this, the Turbo Nozzle, they are messing with you. And I know from past experience, they are messing with you. Whoa, what happened to my water? I thought I, thought I lost my flood for a minute. Alright, we're gonna skip this part here. These- What is up with Flood? It's like Flood loses water some random times, so it's kind of trippy. <laughs> it's this block. This block is the devil. But I beat it. I will have no further issues going forward. Well, that's not true. I could always fall off the block still. Or I could just like, you know, be that one guy who gets too cocky and it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna try my best to jump as far as I can. That usually works. See what I mean? Flood just like loses his water. Excuse me. Alright. This last one, depending on how you do it, can really mess you up. You like want to make sure you have like a really clear path when it comes to getting this eight red, eighth red coin. And that's why Turbo Nozzle is never recommended. 
Can I make that? Oh, I can. Nice. Got it. Shine. Like I said, still not just fully deciding if I want to go for a full 100 let's play. I'm trying to see if there's other... No, I think we're good. Besides the eight, right? Besides the 100 coins, but we can come back for that later. Uh, let's complete some more of Rico Harbor. I think we completed it, but I think we didn't get the secret shines yet. Nope, we're on you. She's free to... We can't do that one yet, so we're gonna do... Blooper Surfing Safari. We're gonna get another secret shine from that. So, what I like about this ROM hack is you can literally decide if you want to do base missions or if you want to do the new missions. I'm gonna kind of try to keep it to where I'm showing, like, the main missions while the, the modded missions. Because, regardless of the fact, this is still a let's play. And I still want to show off everything and complete as much as I can. So how would you go to Bowser? That's what I'm also curious about too, is how would we fight Bowser? Because Corona Mountain's completely different. You don't just rock and nozzle your way up anymore. It's kind of weird to think about. So, I do have my trip coming up, and there's actually some things I wanted to talk about. About that. So, my truck is pretty much good to go. My dad and I checked it over. Um... I've been having this issue where I've been driving at 70 miles an hour on the highway. And the weird part is it was making a weird noise. So I was like, okay, it's gotta be the back brakes because I got my front brakes replaced back in March. So when I did that, um, my dad's like, your back brakes are not working at all. They're just, the, the pads and the, and the rotors are just not aligning. So what I did was, I decided, just a few days ago, to pretty much get the back brake brakes replaced. So, when I did that, I went to my dad's house yesterday, and I took my truck, and... Oh god. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember how- I'm trying to remember the full story here. Okay, so I took my truck over, and what happened was... My dad looked at my passenger side first. No, he looked at my driver's side first. The driver's side's uh, back brake seemed like it was okay. That's the one thing my dad pointed out. And he said, okay, you know, there's still a little bit of padding left. It might not need replaced. So my dad then looked at the driver's side of it. The Oh, no, the driver's side was the one that was good. I'm getting my story mixed up here. The driver's side was the one that was, like, slightly okay. It was the passenger side that had the issue. So, the passenger side, when my dad took it off, he was struggling to basically test it to get all the parts off. And... What happens is, I think it's the caliper. If the caliper is froze, you need to replace the whole caliper. So my dad was like, okay, yeah, this looks pretty bad. Let's look at your driver's side as well, just to be safe again. So we looked at the driver's side again. And the driver's side was actually pretty bad with the brake pads and rotors too. But like I said, that side was the side that was slightly okay. But my dad said, well, if you replace one side, you have to replace the other. Because brake pads come in a set. So we did that. And the driver's side was giving us so much crap. It sucked because I didn't want to spend the money that I did. And I'm sad that I did. But also, we did it for safety purposes. And yeah. So I spent about almost $300 to replace my brake pads, my rotors, and we replaced one caliper. So when my dad tried to put the brake pads on the old caliper on the driver's side, he, we, we had issues, like we struggled. 
it took us five hours. And that was because a lot of the parts just didn't fit. And if anyone watching my video is a car person, have you guys ever had the issue where you try to put brake pads on an old caliper and it just would not fit correctly? My dad and I had to grind. Literally, we had to grind the brake pads. That way they would fit onto the caliper. And that was the one thing my dad didn't want to do. But it was the only way we could get it to work. And five hours this took us. My dad and I could usually replace our brakes in like, probably I'd say about an hour and a half to two hours. My dad's never had an issue with my brakes, ever. But the back brakes on my, on my truck, he struggled. And I don't know how to work on cars. And my dad was like, all right, so we're going to work on your truck. I'm going to have you do everything. But I will help guide you so that way you know what you're doing. And my dad's pretty fair. My dad's really fair on that. But what ended up happening from him going to teaching me how to do it turned into him doing it because it was just way more difficult than what he realized. And seeing how my dad struggled, I was like, yeah, there is no way that if he couldn't do it, there's no way I, I could do it. And, you know, I feel, I feel super bad for my dad. I really did. Because my dad... He worked so hard to do it. And what we were hoping for to be turned into an hour and a half, turned into five hours. My dad was struggling so bad. I felt so incredibly bad for my dad. Like, I really did. And my dad is, like, a super important... A super important person to me in my life. And... Seeing him just, like, struggle so hard just to make sure that my safety was an importance to him for my, my trip to Florida. I, I, I couldn't help but just feel utterly so bad. But we got it to work in the long run. We did. And I'm super thankful that we did. What? Huh? I discovered a new level again? What's up there? Is that peanut part? That's peanut- that's- wait, that's Pianta Village. What's this? Hotel. La Crema. What? Alright. Well, we got a new level. Hotel La Crema. Oh, Mama Fia. Okay. We discovered a new level. Whoa. There's a guy on the roof. Okay. Whoa. Look at the sky! That's a boat. I want to go on the boat. Look at this boat. It's not that big. But yeah, uh, my dad doesn't watch my videos, but dad, if you do ever watch my video, thank you so much for looking out for my safety. I appreciate you. See those guys in the suits over on the shore? I think they're up to no good, but I can't figure out why. They just seem suspiciously coordinated. I say, friend, one of these days, we're gonna cross the old horizon. I can't wait to explore the world with you, old buddy. We're friends? Do I know you? The music's kind of chill here. Okay. I'm kind of vibing with the new area a little bit. Why did I think that one boat with the red and green was like a Krabby Patty from Spongebob? Want to rent a boat? No, then get out of my sight. Screw that guy. Oh boy, we're going on a romantic evening boat ride. What a lovely little boat. I wonder how fast it goes. Let me test drive it. I didn't plan for this. Like, I didn't know that Noki Bay had this area. It feels un omin ominous. What 
What's so om ominous about it? Hey, you going inside? Let me look you over first. Alright, head on this. They added a kitchen, though. Well, that makes me want to go in the kitchen. I'm just going to be frank with you. Whoa. So this is a diner. I'm in the kitchen. If you know what's good for you, you'll scram. This dish is on the brink of crisping over. I haven't got the right ingredient to finish this meal. If only I had something spicy. Okay. What's this? Uh, what did I do? What? Hey, some creep broke in here. Get him! Oh! So I literally can't get caught. Interesting. Ah, oh, man! Okay, so I have to coordinate this, like, right. Okay, so I can't let them see me. There's a guy right there. Ah, oh, man! Do I gotta sneak behind him? Okay. Don't get caught. I made it. Hey guys, check out old guy walking in here. So you think you got the smarts, eh? Think you's tougher than us? You ought to knock his skull in. The hotel is ours to control. What do you say, big boss? I'm gonna show this guy how. Huh? Hotel agreement belongs to us. The mafia. Oh! You'd be wise to remember that, bub. I know you're kind, greedy little blue coin grabber. Oh, wow, okay. We control the economy around here, you hear me? If you think you're so tough, why don't you try this on for size? Boys, bring um, the stew squadron. I mean, this ain't too hard. He beat the stus. This guy might actually be pretty tough. We gotta go bigger. Hold on. I'm gonna watch this play out. Ha, huh, you think that was tricky? You ain't seen nothing yet. The Stu Senate will teach you not to mess with the Pianta Mafia. Well, they ain't teaching me nothing. Sorry. 200 says a new guy <laughs> wins. <laughs> no way. The stuff's got this guy in the bag. I raised you 300. Wow. This guy is mopping the floor with us. Maybe we should leave him alone. Bah. I have the final say around here. Prepare to face our best fighters. The Stu Syndicate. Ooh. How do I take that thing down again? He did it! All of our trained studs are done for! I ain't going in there next. Let him through, boss. I like your style, little man. You's got a lot of guts. I know when I'm beat. Have it your way. You surprise me, little man. We'll let you explore the hotel as you please. This shine was meant for the arena champion. I guess that's you now. Oh, shit! Yeah! Take these. We'll recognize you from here, in, here on out. 
I got mafia glasses. Yeah. Let's go. All right, that's awesome. Super sweet sabotage. Oh God. All right, We're going back in the hotel. Let's go, let's do it. What's down here? Oh, there's a little shack down here. It's a love shack. It's a little love place where we can get together. Sorry. Sorry. Big Boss says you get free reign of the hotel now. Pretty high honor. Yeah, I want my sunshades though. Alright. What a cool arcade. Booty scooting looks really fun. What? Can we play these games? So many great games to play, I can't decide. That one in the corner seems pretty neat if you ask me. It looks like you could suck you right in. Nice. The right one? What the heck? What? Hello, sweetie. You may know my husband. Big Daddy of Blooper Surfing. Oh, you're the you're the wife. I'm Big Mama of Booty Scootin' and I own this slide. If you can survive and make it to the end, there's a prize waiting. I'll even give you a secret prize if you can beat the course record. Good luck. Give it to me. I can do anything I can put my mind. I do. I can do anything I put my 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 mind to. Oh, <laughs> that works. Totally. Darn it. That's pretty... That's a pretty long way. Jesus. Yep, I know who you are. Ready! Can I, I wonder if I can make myself fall down there again. Nice, I did it. Okay, jump that. Jump that. Nice, can I jump here? Oh wow, seriously? It's that far down? Ah! Alright, I'm gonna clear this jump. Wow. This ain't like Mario 64, okay? Is there like any slide missions in Mario Sunshine? I don't remember. And if so, there's not any timed ones. I'm just gonna slide down normal without trying tricks. Sound good? I think it sounds good. All right. Oh God. Oh my God. All right, we good, we good, we good. Oh God! Oh God! That is not okay! That is not okay! I can't, like, grab control! Woo! Okay. Oh, that's super thin. That is super thin. Oh. Oh, that's a straight drop, in it? Oh my God. Okay, it looks like it goes down this way. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> I see the end. Okay, this can't screw this up. Okay. Cool. Yes, yes, yes! 
Let's go. What was the time? Yes, sir. I missed one. <laughs> I guess I skipped one. Oops. <laughs> oh, shoot. An elevator? What do I do? <clears throat> Is that Isle Delfino? I'll drink a harbor. That's cool. I'm not really sure where to go. What do you guys say? Real wood. It's not particle board after all. <clears throat> I wonder how much this would go for online. So they know about online. Sorry. Maybe this isn't the floor I need to be on. Locked in your room. <clears throat> okay. What's this for? Oh, no. This shouldn't be too hard. It oh, God, it looks easy. I didn't say it would be easy, I said it looks easy. Uh-huh. Damn it. Uh-huh. 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 Where am I at? Andy's room? <coughs> this is Story Story. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, <clears throat> that sucks. <laughs> All right, I'll. That's where we're going to end the episode for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next Urto. Probably not. I'm probably not going there next. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going next. I know I got a lot of videos to record. So I'm going to do like a lot of um, recording for one session. Um, I still got this week to do those sessions but for now I'm, st I'm just gonna stick with doing them one day like I normally do and just kind of build up from there um yeah exploring a new world by complete accident that's pretty cool actually but uh yeah that's gonna be it for me guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did I will see you guys in the next one bye y'all